Guys, in this video, you will probably see me as mad as you have ever seen me. Because what we are talking about today is what I believe to be a massive exploit within Xbox. And I need everyone watching this video to spread the word around as much as you can, because this is not okay and should not be happening at all. So a little story. The other day, I was streaming some GT Online, as I usually do. And while in the middle of playing, I had just got done winning a drift race, and I backed out to go to free mode, and this happened to me. Again, live on stream. Huh? 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 What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I was informed by Xbox that I had been suspended from playing online, which I thought was very bizarre because I don't cheat. I don't ever send messages on Xbox to anyone, so it being some sort of offensive message as the reason that I was banned it could not be the case. And I also do not ever talk in game chat. The only game I really play on Xbox is GTA Online. When I restarted my console, I was met with this message here, and essentially everything is banned until April 12th at this time the video was made. I can't play online, I can't use party chat. Pretty much, I can only use my account to play single player games and access single player content. But it gets even more fishy because I go and check my emails to find out what the reasoning would be for this suspension. And I notice there's not one, but two emails that read the exact same. The Xbox safety team has found that recent behavior by the Xbox profile based on your email address violated one or more terms of the community standards for Xbox or Microsoft services agreement. The violation was either brought to our attention by complaints from other players or discovered in the course of moderating the Xbox service. Members of the Xbox team have reviewed evidence of the violation and appropriate consequences. To see the consequences and learn why this violation matters, go to Enforcement History and sign in. Now how do I get two suspension notices at the exact same time? These emails were within two minutes of each other, and they both say the exact same thing. So I go to the enforcement page like they say to do to review why I was banned, and I can't even view there why I'm banned. All it tells me is, sorry, we can't get notifications right now. Please try again later. So I'm banned for no reason. And not even the enforcement page on the Xbox website knows why I'm banned and can tell me why I'm suspended. None of it tells me anything. And it gets even worse. An hour later, after the first two emails I mentioned, I was hit with two more emails that, again, read the exact same way as the first two. So I was hit with four account suspensions in one hour's time. How is that possible? How can you get multiple account suspensions within the same ban window? Quite clearly, this is a targeted attack through the use of either bots or an exploit in the Xbox service. I see no other reason why this would be happening. Like I said, I do not cheat in any game that I play online. I do not message people unless it's me thanking a fan in the Xbox messages or something. I don't go around shit talking people in messages and I do not use the Xbox game chat or have it in years at this point. So there would be zero reason why I would be getting banned, especially this many times. So my question is, Xbox, what's going on here? You know, I made a video a long time ago discussing how someone had their account and entire Xbox unjustly banned from accessing the internet. That's right, their entire $500 console was banned from even accessing Xbox Live. The account that they were using was permabanned, and their console was permabanned from even accessing the internet. It was pretty much bricked at that point. And to me, this sounds like a very similar situation here. If this does not get reverted, then that is just complete and utter bullshit. I have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate paid for until February of next year that will no longer be useful if I can't access the game's online functionality. My entire 10 plus years of GT Online progress is inaccessible at the moment because of this. And the fact that I don't even know the reasoning behind it, that is bullshit. It pisses me off royally. If I end up losing my Xbox account of over 10 years because of assholes that use some sort of tool to target my account and there's nothing they can do about it, you will not be hearing the end of it from me. Xbox seems to have a big, big problem on their hands here. And once again, I ask everyone that is watching this video, please, please share it around with as many people as you can. The only thing we can really do is just make a giant shitstorm and hope that they notice because it truly is ridiculous. As for what I'm going to be doing as far as streaming and content creation goes, well, for making videos, I can get gameplay from other accounts, and I have a ton of gameplay just on my computer that I can use, so I'm fine there. But for streaming, my only option is to use another account, I guess, because my main one with all my shit on it is banned until April 12th or more, depending on if the other two bans add on to it. <sighs> what a mess. What a mess. Thank you guys all for watching, and have a great day.